Okay, so far we have discussed function declarations and uh, we have just uh, seen different examples and you have performed several challenges. But again, in all those examples and challenges we have used function declaration that consisted of function keyword, function name, parameters that are optional and function body. There is also a function expression and in this lecture let's discuss difference between function declaration and function expression. Let's now look at this example. On the left side you see function declaration and on the right side you see function expression. And the only one difference between those two functions is that in the right hand function, in the function expression, you don't see name of the function. Everything else is the same. In both functions you see function keyword, you see parameters, again in both cases they are optional, and function body. And inside of the function body you can add any JavaScript expressions or statements. And of course there is no difference in return statement. It means that any function expression doesn't have any name. And this means that each function expression is anonymous function expression. And now let's look at comparison table where you will see difference between function declaration and function expression in terms of usage. So let's start. Function declaration has name. Function expression doesn't have name. Function expression is always anonymous. Function declaration can be used standalone and we have used it in several examples before. We have declared function using function declaration and then we have called that function. Function expression cannot be used in such a way. It is not allowed to use function expressions standalone. If you will try to create function using function expression, you will immediately get an error. Next, function declaration can be assigned to the variable. Function expression can be assigned to the variable as well. And finally, function declaration and function expression can be passed as argument in the call to the other function. And that is the most common usage of function expressions. Because when you pass function to other function as an argument, you don't necessarily need name for this function that is passed as argument to the other function. That's why function expressions, because they are always anonymous, are mostly used in this case. But let's now look at an example where function expression can be assigned to the variable. Here is this example. Here we declare new variable called my function. And we use in this example const for variable declaration. And usually it is the case when you assign anonymous function expression to the variable. Usually const is recommended for usage here. Because if you will use let or var instead of const here, you will be able to reassign value of the variable. And if you will try for example to reassign number to this variable, and after that you will try to call function that is not function anymore, it is a number, you will get an error. And I have demonstrated that to you before. Ok, we declare variable my function and assign value to this variable. And value is a function. And it is not a function declaration, it is anonymous function expression. You don't see any name for this function. First comes function keyword, then parentheses with optional parameters and function body. And after this assignment, my function variable will hold the function. And we can say that my function is a function. And that's why we are able to call this function. And below you see such call. My function, parentheses and two arguments, 5 and 3. And in this example we will get back 9. But now I want to emphasize very important thing. Many developers say and think that my function in this example is function expression. But it is wrong. Function expression is located here on the right hand side of this assignment. And we simply take anonymous function expression as a value and assign it 
to the variable. Nothing else. So please don't be confused when someone tells you that in this case my function is function expression. It is not a function expression. It is simply a variable that holds function expression as a value. Why is that important? We have just discussed that function expressions are mostly used as arguments in other function calls. And in that case, you don't need to assign function expression to any variable. Let's look at the example. And in this example, we pass function expression as argument in the function call. You see here built-in function set timeout. And here in this example, we call this function with two arguments, where first argument is anonymous function expression. And second argument is number in milliseconds. And job of the set timeout function is following. In 1000 milliseconds in this example, function expression that was passed as first argument will be automatically called. And you will see delayed message in the console. But again, this will happen in a one second. And that's why such functions that are passed as arguments in other function calls are called callback function. Because outer function, in this example set timeout function, will automatically call inner function that is passed as argument in the set timeout function call. And again, that's why such anonymous function expressions that are used as arguments in the function calls are called callback functions. Ok, I hope the difference between function expressions and function declarations is clear. And now we can try this in action and dive into coding. See you after the pause. Bye bye. Did you like this challenge? If so, hit the thumbs up button. Also, please consider enrollment to the full length JavaScript Bible course. Link is now here. See you in the next videos and bye bye.